how to properly fill your Lamont Spin Touch multiple use spin disks. To start, notice that the multiple use spin disk is divided into three sections. Each section tests for three factors. This means the disk can be used three times by filling a different section each time and testing those three factors. You don't have to fill the sections in 1, 2, 3 order. The meter knows which was most recently filled. A disk should be filled and then used within 10 minutes. They cannot be filled ahead of time. Each section on the multiple use spin disk has a fill hole. Fill one section to do one set of tests. Only one section needs to be filled at a time. The pink areas are the blank chambers that will get filled with your sample water. The blue areas are the overflow chambers which will end up partially filled with your sample water. To fill a spin disk, first insert the tip of the syringe into the sample water and slowly pull the plunger all the way up. Avoid getting any air bubbles in the syringe. Insert the tip of the syringe in a fill hole of an unused section of the disc. When inserted properly, the syringe will stand up on its own. When you fill the disc, the syringe must be perfectly vertical. Fill the disc using slow, even pressure. Add the sample water until the blank chamber is full and the overflow chamber is partially filled. Do not overfill the disc. If the disc is overfilled, the sample water will flow out of the vent hole in the center of the disc. If this happens, sample water may flow into the reagent chamber prematurely, and the test results will not be accurate. Begin a new test in the next chamber. Do not underfill the disc. If the disc is underfilled, the blank chamber will not be full and the test results will not be accurate. To remove an air bubble from the disc, insert the nearly empty syringe into the disc. Slowly pull the plunger up until the air bubble goes back into the syringe. Then slowly push the plunger back down to dispense the water sample back into the disc. 